Class is in session. The professor is in. What's happening, y'all? Today, we're going to take a look at Dominic Mysterio, six-star bronze. Uh, and this is for uh, a couple of people who have uh, asked me to um, do a gameplay video of him six-star, like a few build-up and how you would do that. So this one goes out uh, to my buddy Nero8. Uh, and and, and uh, this is how I would run him um, for a few. So a few things to take into account that we should remember is that he does have the zombie moment and that's one of the things that makes him more powerful. Uh, I have it maxed to 25, uh, but if I get that maxed to 30, it'll be more. If you max it to 30, you can see down here that his, oops, there we go, I'm trying to circle things and it didn't work. Let's no longer circle things. Uh, his multiplied drum strength is going to increase by two. So right now I only have it at one because I don't have it all the way to 30, but that's going to impact his ability in uh, in Feud, but also in Showdown as well too. In Showdown he gets a multiply plus two, but also moves start plus two. So important things for him. So we're going to keep that in mind. Uh, and the other thing for his strap is you're going to need an all hearts plate, right? Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, which we are, we're going to increase that gem damage for green by 100%. And that's what he thrives on. He needs green gem damage and as much of it as possible. So you want to buff that as much as you possibly can. So for me, if you could find a way to get as much gem damage as possible through either Fury 2s, so I have one set of Fury 2s right there, and then I have one set of regular Furies plus the gem damage strap right there. So I'm adding 80% more gem damage, um, and then I haven't maxed out all my medals, but you want to look for substats that have green gem damage. So if you can find a substat on there with extra green gem damage, that's what you want. So um, mine is not... Um, the keys to this Cadillac, this is a little bit of a beat up Cadillac. It hasn't, it needs more bells and whistles. It needs to be shined and uh, buffed a little bit to make it even better. But you can make him hit way harder than I'm going to show you here. Um, so at least I'll give you a sense of sort of what he can um, and cannot do. Let's see what we're going to do. Um, so two basic ways that you can run this in terms of uh, coaches. So when we get to a feud, uh, you're going to go double MP trainer because you want this to go off uh, on turn one. So this will work in either feuds, whether your opponent has full defensive or not full defensive. So for this weekend, most people won't have full defensive, but even if they did, it doesn't matter. This still works. So we're going to go with um, Shamrock to get two more yellow MP. We're going to go with Kofi to get the yellow started. So that's six MP to start. And then this is the big and this is the key one right here. So the two keys that you need, the first is the all hearts plate, but that's the other one. You need zombie Ray at 26 K um, talent in order to create three more green gems when the jugger or when the uh, countdown gems um, go off. So that's vitally important. Now, the last person that you use is entirely up to you. Um, you can use Lex, but it's probably better to get more green percentage damage. Um, so I'm actually going to switch out Lex right here. But if you don't um, have uh, Lacey, where should we Lacey? Then that is who I would put in. You can put in Lex if you have Lex or anybody that's going to add more green damage to your build. Okay, so that's what you're going to need. So it needs two things and then a third thing. And so that's why Dominic is a little bit more tricky. Um, you know, having the moment maxed helps to add more damage to it. Having, unlike in my case, um, stars that are open, that's also going to affect him because he's a gem damage uh, type of guy. So you want to make sure that the, that... Uh, the stars get filled up as best as possible and you want to make sure that you have the all hearts that you have zombie ray and then you're gonna um, 
Also make sure that your opponent doesn't have multiply gem down uh, coaches on, right? So I'm actually gonna go against Butch. Uh, this is part of the Butch challenge tour and you can see just how hard mine hits right now without me actually trying to maximize all of his uh, metal pop uh, possibilities. So if you tweak his metals, you add both sets of Fury 2s, lots more extra green damage, then this is gonna hit way harder. So we're going to see uh, green gems right now to start are doing 25.5 and that could be even higher. So we are going to hit the Brain Blender DDT. I didn't go over his move earlier, so I apologize for that. So we're going to do 280k damage. And we're going to increase that green gem damage by 130% for two turns and it does not uh, affect uh, bonus damage. So this is going to be move number one. This is going to be move number two. And this down here is going to be move number three. Uh, maybe we should do that. One, two, three. That's the order that we're going to do this in. Okay, so let's first buff up our green gem damage for two turns. And now our green gems are doing 57.5k damage. And then we're going to hit the one term countdown gems. Those are going to go all over the board. Now, if you don't have an all hearts, but you do have a Z plate, you can add the Z plate, but that only does 50% more damage, but has the bonus of doing 35% uh, gem reduction from your opponent. So that also works. And this is also the thing. After this turn, and we're going to drop the sub in just a second, we are going to keep our fingers crossed that he doesn't cascade and pin us because if it does, then all of our, our countdown gems go off and we have to find a way to reload. And so that's the, really the downside of uh, ZDOM is having that blow up in your face, quite literally. So we hit the three move sub. We're going to hope that he doesn't knock out all of our, uh, all of our gems. Okay. And then that's what's going to happen. Hits. And so I hit for six million there. And that's without all of the metals boosted up to Fury 2s. That's without extra green gem damage. That's with two hollow stars. And that's with times three because it's not actually in feud. It would actually be times four. So all of the sub gems that are left on the board would actually have been times four, adding even more damage. So I've seen others um, that have boosted theirs up. Merix is one. Um, Liability in, in my faction is another one who routinely hit between 11 and 15 million on that countdown gem explosion. So that is how I would run uh, Z-Dom. And when, uh, when I do buff him up for this guy, and so I think what we have to say is that you're going to get an extra 100% in this feud if you can max out that middle line. So if you max out that middle line and you have all the pieces and all of the components, there's no reason that your Z-Dom is not going to hit 15 to 20 million uh, this feud uh, on that second turn when everything explodes. So hopefully this was informative. Uh, if it was, great. Give it the thumbs up, like, subscribe, come back to my channel. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, and uh, most importantly, uh, I hope to see you next time. The professor is out.